is the ninth lot of Sims tutorial, and we're today we're going to be looking at plexers. This is the folder we haven't gone in yet. Multiplexers are a useful item. They look a bit like this, so it's this odd-looking uh, trapezium. And what we're going to do is we're going to make select bits to uh, three and data bits. I'll just leave that at one. The multiplexer, basic. What the multiplexer does is each of these different uh, pins on the side here, each represents a different number. So this is zero. This is gets to select bits is equal to three. It's zero zero zero. 001, 010, 011, and so on and so on until you get to uh, top three, but number 111. So, uh, and then this is what each input is. So we can set each input manually, but that is boring. And what we're, we're going to use it with uh, this. So, what we're going to do is make a pin for each one like so, not like so, as not like so you can just copy and paste the bits that speed up the process I'll be back when I've finished attaching them all I'm back with this funky pattern of different pins connecting to the multiplexer so the next thing we're going to need is our select bit. So our select bit, we will control with a big pin. So this one is going to be a three-bit pin, and it's going to be facing westerly. So this is our pin, and this is our output. So our output we'll put as an LED. So our LED will just go here, and we'll make that LED that be the off colour and that will be the on colour because green is much nicer than red so our so we're going to just like make every second one I think to be uh, on so at the moment our in our select bit is 0, 0, 0. so the first number because it's connected to 0 and it's on so that's what's picked basically it's like a long list and the select bit picks which number in our long list it's going to be. So let's use the to demonstrate this. This is going to be our list and we're going to have uh, the first one on our list is out of zero, zero, 0 the next one is zero, zero, 001 the next one is zero, zero, 002 and so on and so on and at the moment our select bits is so just right here select bit and at the moment our select bit is zero zero zero. So on our list, it's going to think that, oh look, our select bit is zero zero zero. We're going to go and pick select bit zero zero zero. So it points towards zero zero zero, and that's what the output is. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So if we change our result to zero zero one, now our select bit is now. And the select bit is now 0, 0, 001. So it thinks, look, let's find 0, 0, 001. It paves a very odd looking line to 0, 0, 001. And it finds that 0, 0, 001 is off. So our output is going to be off because our output equals the input number that is the same as the select bit. If, so, okay. So the multiplexer can be used for many in many ways, although it can only go up to five bits. It can be used if you want many inputs. It's, it's a bit more useful when you get to uh, much bigger numbers for the inputs. But that's just showing what it does. But you can use your imagination and figure up a really useful scenario for it. Eventually, I'll showcase my uh, my CP uh, my let's just say CPU I made and it uses a multiplexer and I'll show you what I used it for then but before we finish I'd like to show uh, comparator this is basically like an if statement in programming let's just make our comparator as a for comparator and we're going to get uh, two westerly 
four bits pins. So our data bits will be four, one there, and one there. Connect those up. And at the moment, this is saying these two numbers are equal. So it's saying that now we will connect this to our LED matrix, and this is going to be three. And this is going to be now going to use rows. So we have a different one. For, no, we're going to use columns. <laughs> one time I get it right. So we're going to connect each one to a different uh, column. This one for that. There, there. And there to there. So this checks for us. If these two numbers are equal, the equals is true. So, for instance, it's now 0, 0 and 0, 0. And you probably know that those two are equal. So it's true. But now... That 0, 0, 0, 1 is greater than 0, 0, 1. The greater than sign is now on. Or now the less than sign is on. So it's basically doing a comparison between the two numbers. And whichever one is on, it outputs that the one that's on onto the LED matrix. So this is it for this tutorial. Hope you understand the multiplexer and the comparator, or whatever that thing is called. Yep, comparator, for once I got it right. And thanks for watching.